Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me, I hope you're all well. Okay, so jumping back into Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, yeah, in the first time in absolutely ages. So um, yeah, I just fancied a little journey on it, and it is coming up to a year worth of um, me being monetized on YouTube. So I thought I'd probably end up doing a live stream on this, on my 365th day. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's go and pick up a job. We won't go to this one because it's just boring supermarket. So let's go um, that away and uh, yeah, just see what we can find. Um, what's that up there? Is that just a hotel or I don't know? We'll go right at the end. Yeah. So I hope you're all well. Hope you're all having a good one. Um, okay, man in a hot dog suit. Why not? Um, and this is my favourite map. So this is Grand Utopia. And I think it's the best map by far. Can I go down here? Yeah. Um, it's the free version that I'm on. Um, I really should, though. Um, join the patron. Nope, we're not going up there. Because it's just amazing, this map. It really is. Okay, and um, also I'm going to be doing a bit of a product review as we drive around as well. So I've actually got a wheel mount now, wheel and pedal mount, and um, H-shifter actually. So uh, it's called the De Wingus apparently, and um, yeah, I've had it a few days now, and I quite like it. Right, we'll go down here, see what this is. I quite like it, but um, only because I've got a G29, so I'm not on a direct drive wheel or anything like that. Beautiful. Um, with a direct drive wheel, you'd just be throwing it across the room all the time. But um, yeah, with a G29, it's pretty good. And what I like about it is you can um, angle the steering wheel upwards. So uh, yeah, if you wanted to have the steering wheel kind of more authentic for a lorry, you could do that. Right, so what's in here? Hello mate. Right, let's have a look. Uh, enter. I can't remember any of the controls either, so this is going to be a bit um, terrible. Unable to find jobs. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go on the um, map and yeah, freight market. Um, so somewhere around here. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter what we take. So we'll take this. Yeah, that'll do. 12 minutes. Nice. Right. Let's get out of here. Yeah, it's even pretty good with the um, H-shifter as well. So the H-shifter I've got <clears throat> requires um, two kilograms of force to change gear and this does all right right wheel spin yep that was a stop not for jolly drift Right, so it's seven minutes away. So it's seven minutes of rally driving until we get there. Obviously, you can't really do this in a lorry, but that's the good thing about simulators. You can mess around a little bit and not go to prison. But you're not immune from prison. Obviously, if you were playing on this, then went out and murdered someone, came back, you probably would go to prison. Right. Okay, yep, will do Sky. Here turn we go. Right. And then turn right. Okay. Right. That's all good. Turn oh right. we did actually put out in front of someone. Well, sorry mate. I'm recording. Yeah, I got the wrong ratio gearbox for this as well, because it's so powerful. You're just in top gear almost instantly. But yeah, what a map. 
it's excellent. So I'm not going to put an affiliate link or anything like that in the um, in the description, but yeah, I do highly recommend. So before my steering wheel was just connected to the desk, and um, it's fine, but obviously cable management is difficult, and. Um, yeah, even though it had them carpet grippers on the G29, having it actually secured um, does make it seem a lot better. And also the racing games I've been playing, so Assetto Corsa, um, Mobili Auto Mobilista 2, um, and whatever else. They, um, the force feedback does a little bit go through the frame of this um, stand and uh, yeah so you get a little bit of force feedback through the pedals which is nice um, yeah so I have been driving oh yeah and beam MG as well so I have been driving quite aggressively on all of the games and yeah I'm not particularly throwing it around and I do have my um, force feedback on relatively high That was a little drift. Okay, so just under two minutes away. But not at the speed I'm driving. <laughs> it is actually quite fun driving like an absolute dick on here. Okay. And in here. Here we go. Haven't we just? And it's going to be one of them over there, I presume. Right, um, freight market. Um, it was uh, right. It's expired, so we'll take. Yeah, we'll take that one then, shall we? Why not? Twelve minutes. Um, yep. Right here we go. The face tracking I use is free as well, and um. I'll put a link in the description on how to set it up. So all you need is a web camera. And I've been using this track this face tracking for well, about five hundred and something days now. That's how long I've been on YouTube. Right here we go. Yeah, and obviously the mount that I had for my H shifter before was um pretty sketchy, so it's nice to um yeah, not have that issue anymore. And the um, yeah, H shifter <coughs> desk mounts that you can buy. The ones I was looking at was 70 quid for two. And I think this steering wheel mount thing that I've got was about 70 quid for the whole thing. So that's pretty good. Right. So we've got our load. And we're going that away. I'll drive a little bit more carefully now. Right. Nice. Get ready to turn left. Will do. Yeah, I've missed this game, I really have. It's so relaxing. Turn left. Um am I almost out of fuel? I can't remember which one the fuel gauge is. No, that's cold and hot on the left there we go I think we've got half a tank I think it's on the speedometer side nice yeah you can get proper escapism from this game so when I set all this up I put um, some music on in the background and I've got a stream deck so uh, yeah, I've got my music controls all on there. So I can skip track on YouTube. Turn the volume up and down, bliss. I don't know why there's so little traffic. Um, yeah, no idea. Right, let's set cruise control. Yeah, I can't believe it's, it's been a year now. Um, almost since we got monetized and I thought it was going to take a lot longer than half a year to get monetized but I didn't think I'd ever get monetized I thought I'd maybe get 20 subscribers so 
thank you everyone for being here. Truly really appreciate it. And there's some massive updates coming to this game in the future as well. Huge. I'm really looking forward to that. Now was over there. The face tracking isn't quite as good as it um, was last night when I was uh, practicing this because, um, yeah, the microphone's right next to my face, so I think it's having a little bit of trouble with that. Uh, go a little bit faster. Yeah, and where this is a one-to-one -one scale map. Jesus, I wasn't concentrating, as you can probably tell. So, mate. Um, yeah, um, one-to-one -one scale map. So we are actually going to be there in about seven minutes. So that's good. Yeah, there's so much to this map. And they're always making changes to it. It's excellent. But the roads feel so much more realistic on this. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Okay, Sky. So there was one car on the road and I crashed into the back of it. Great, isn't it? And no, I didn't use to work ready, so uh <clears throat> anyway, here we go. Oh, it says the fuel up in the uh bar at the top as well. That's how long it's been since I played this. Can't even remember where it says stuff. Yeah, I think the lack of prob um, the lack of uh, graphic is my problem. God, I'm having to concentrate so much. I can barely talk. But it is another victim to crash into. What's that? A transit van or something? I don't know. Oh, what's that in the road? Rubbish. My favourite. The A class. Yeah, so Jazzy Cat's mods are being used. I haven't updated them recently, but yeah, one of my favourite mods. All of the mods I use on this game are free. Yeah, I don't think I could um, enjoy this game if... If all the mods just stop working, I don't think I could enjoy playing it anymore. It's once you've experienced them, there's just no getting away from the fact that they make it immensely better. Oh, why did I do that? No worries, Sky. Exit now. Yeah, it's nice using the H shifter as well. Um, not the H shifter, the range splitter. Yeah, because the last game I played played properly with um, lorries in was truck and logistics simulator and it didn't support range splitters so it I like that game I like it a lot but um it doesn't quite beat something like this and obviously Alaskan road truckers was the same that didn't support it and I mate I can't bib because it's too noisy 
all downhill from there, mate. Right, what have we got here? Road narrows. And this is the RJL Scania, so um, my joint favourite truck, the other one is the um, Dotec um, Mercedes, an excellent mod, there we go, lean out the window, nice. Yeah, this game just hits different. Obviously, it's mainly about parking, but... Well, I don't know, actually, because some people skip the parking. HSS. It's not HSS higher, is it? Because otherwise it would be doing 95 everywhere. They really are under pressure, that lot. Um, how long have we got? Two minutes. Two minutes of the speed limit. Okay. Well, let's just admire the view a little bit. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. It really is. So I don't know of any other map mod that gives this much kind of immersion. And it's not sponsored or anything like that. It's always been my favourite. Second map mod favourite is Pro Mods. I think that adds so much to the game. But um, yeah, with this one, yeah, you, you kind of, I don't know. It, it just feels so much more realistic because like lots of little twisty roads and everything, and uh, just gets you away from the motorway as well because. I know on ETS you can make it so that it avoids motorways with your navigation, but um, yeah, then you're just constantly late for your jobs, and uh, yeah, it just gets a little bit boring. But with this, obviously, most of the time you're not on a motorway because there aren't many. Get ready to turn right. Okay. And yeah, massive variations as well. I don't know the map at all, so as you can see, we're still discovering the map. But, um, yeah, when I was practicing yesterday with music on the thing, I got to a um, tiny little kind of village that I had to deliver to, so I don't know whereabouts it was. Tiny little village, and I got to a roundabout that had some concrete bollards um, either side of it, and my goodness, it was, uh, yeah, it was difficult. But it's really rewarding, especially when you get it on the first go. Yeah, lots of YouTubers that I used to watch used to skip the park, and I used to think, just try it. Like, no one's going to care that much if you mess it up. Typical, isn't it? This is going to be an easy one. You have arrived at your destination. And there's always demos available for uh, Euro Truck and American Truck Simulator, if you're from over there, or if you prefer that. Right, we'll make it easy for ourselves. No, I haven't at all, have I, because now I've got that in my face. Right, so we'll um, knock ourselves out on this. What's that eye thing up the top there? Next to the time. I don't know what that's about. Lovely. And engine off, handbrake on, lights off, disconnect. So we would have got some damage there, but that's alright, doesn't matter. I do need to um, get a mod on here. Oh, look at that, we we're almost level 2. I do need to get a mod on here that makes it so that, um, oh no, a yacht. Yeah, sod it, let's take that. 
um, so it makes the money a little bit more attainable on this um, map mod because as you just saw we didn't earn that much at all from there right so where's the yacht then over it right handbrake off let's get this on Yeah, another thing with this um, steering wheel mount, um, obviously I get less vibrations through the desk, which then go through the microphone. Um, well, I shouldn't get any vibrations go through the desk now because it's completely disconnected. So that's all good. Right, what way are we going here? Um, we're going right out of here. Okay, that was a really aggressive stop there. I can skip quite a lot of gears because this is just so powerful, this Scania. I can't remember which um, engine it is. I think it might be the 580 or something. But yeah, with this gearbox, you could probably put away in fifth easily. <clears throat> Get ready to turn right. Too quick. So that was pushing me into the onto the wrong side of the road then. Oh god, understeer. Turn right. Right, nothing that way. Nothing that way. There we go. So this is probably going to be quite picturesque. It looked all coastal. So none of these jobs are planned by the way, I just I never did on my series plan jobs. Sometimes I pick one up right at the end of a um, episode, but yeah, it was all just Get random, to turn left. and we did, yeah, a lot of Europe. But unfortunately, views just died. So turn with a channel, left. if you're getting less than a hundred views an episode, it's um, really, really bad. So I had to put it on hold. Right here we go. But I will return to it properly one day, I'm sure. Yeah, I still get comments on all my Euro Truck series, which is nice. Right, here we go. I've done that. My goodness, what was that? Oh. Ended up down there, teleported. I think that's probably a problem my end rather than the, uh, the map mod. Yeah, I seem to remember I couldn't have the graphics on majorly high on this but that's just because there's so much going on so if you have one of these super computers I'm sure it'd look a lot nicer than it does on mine at the roundabout take the first exit okay exit now wow look at this oh net oh speed bump Slow it up a little bit. Bus what? Uh, no, I can't say that, can I? Okay, we've got traffic ahead anyway, so we might as well just let it slow down a little bit. And we're going up there. 
Turn left. Right. He'll be letting us go. They know the drill. Okay, we will stop for this. And I'm going to have a sip of tea. Lovely. Yeah, two four six works where it's uh, Turn right. so powerful. Right, got to be a little bit careful here. Okay, we're good that way. Jesus, up the curb a little bit. There we go. Cheers, mate. Sorry about that. Yeah, so then two, four, six, seven, eight. Perfect. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Obviously, you can play this game on automatic as well, but I only actually used to drive automatic lorries for now. a job. But yeah, I know how to drive a manual. Right, so eight minutes. Yeah, so we'll do this job and then I'll end it there. So this will be coming up probably on a live stream, um, but it won't be like 100% serious or anything like that. It'll just be me driving and yeah, probably being really distracted by the comments, trying to respond to everything and crashing a lot and maybe some drifting because obviously we've always got the diff lock and you can drift on this game. Obviously, it's a little bit difficult. Sorry, mate, I'm cutting you up. But yeah, you can drift on this game. Just mess around. But yeah, it's more of a kind of hangout thing. We got done. What's that? J Gaming? No idea. And what's all that over there? A bit of fish farm or something. Dunno. Right, we should probably be over there. Are you letting them let me over there, mate? Please. Actually. Who are you? <laughs> Bentley. Good timing, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I think it's some kind of fish farm. Right, cruise control. Yeah, so however many times I um, do an episode on this map, I never show it off to its full potential. It's crazy good. It really, really is. That's too quick. Yeah, and the um, developer of this map has got their own YouTube channel, which I'll link in the description. So if you want to see more of it, see it being kind of shown off, then obviously that's the place to uh, see it. But yeah, so cool. There's probably a newer version than the one I'm playing on at the moment. I didn't have that much time, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have updated this mod, Jazzy Cats, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, just very limited time. I thought I'd rather get an episode out than uh, yeah, just sit there getting really frustrated at all the um, virus scanning you have to do when you download mods. 
Okay, so are we going off here? Yes, we are. Okay. Right, it was forcing us off here anyway, in this lane. Okay. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Right, nice and easy. Oh god, that wasn't nice and easy, was it? Almost hit the barrier. Yeah, it's been a while. Out of practice, that's my excuse. Right, off here. Exit now. So cool. Petrol station. Yeah, and I was, um, so obviously I'm old enough that when I got my driver's license, it wasn't illegal to drive using your mobile phone. And, uh, yeah, um, it was a little bit easier though, because obviously text messages were limited to 160 characters and, yeah, usually most of the text fitted on a tiny little screen. So you could literally just hold your phone up and then quickly read it and yeah then reply using buttons and all that I love this kind of thing as well um, this Get feels really realistic right. um, yeah so it was turn easier right. but yesterday um, when I was just messing around on it I did get a text and I tried reading it and my goodness it's illegal for a reason just couldn't do it but yeah, with the live chat, when I live stream this, that's going to be very apparent. Yeah, this looks like a proper industrial seat. Excellent. Very, very well done. Oh, sorry, mate. Right on the wrong side of the road. That's the trouble. When I get a map mod, like when I got um, Kazakhstan Pro Mods, that's excellent as well. I was just driving along and I was so distracted because I was looking at everything. Mesmerised. Right, um, why did you slam on, Johnny? And this isn't a T-junction. Wrong gear. Always point out your mistakes. Because that's... Uh, that's really good for channel expansion, isn't it? <laughs> right, what's going on here, then? Where am I going? In here. Why do you want a yacht? Um, well, I think it's in here. Okay, so I've got to be careful now because there's bollards down here. I've got no front mirror. I can't lean forward. I've turned the um, axes off. Um, off. For leaning forward, yeah, it's over there. So down here. Um, I don't think it's one way. That doesn't look like it. And as always, make it easy for myself, so I'm going to spin it round first. So let's do that here. Um, have we got low? No, we haven't. Okay, no worries. Yes, we have. I don't really need low ratio, but that's all right. Okay. And then can Jolly cope? with the added pressure of seven people watching. That'll do. Um, trouble is, I can't really tell where the... Ah, no, it will be all right. Easy does it. Easy now. Try and get it in the first one, as always. At least it's not rear steer. I still really struggle with rear steer. Right. Gonna have to shunt. <sighs> okay. And then we'll tap it on the thing. There we go. Look forward again. God, I've messed this up, haven't I? 
you imagine all the old other lorry drivers that'd be pissing themselves at this. That'll do. And then straight back. Shunt like an absolute shunter. Right. That'll do. Nice. And could be get one of these. Oh, the green things there. That's right, so we'll do that. Five point three liters. I think I need to make that more realistic, don't I? Um Lovely. And then drive again. Yeah, there we go. And then I can get a nicer thumb. Um, I'll get that later. Right, so I'm going to end this one here. Um, I'll press the wrong button first. So thanks for joining me, everyone. I do really appreciate each and every view. And if you've enjoyed this, please feel free to join me in the next one. So cheers, everyone, and bye for now.